Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to learn about how to find the list of web elements on any page. So till now we have understood about the find element, which is basically finding a specific web element and doing the operation on that particular web element. But say for example, there are scenarios wherein you want to get a list of web elements, say for example, counting the links on a particular page or a particular type of tags then in that case you need to get the list of the web elements and selenium provides the methods to find the list of web elements by name so if you see here if you want to find multiple multiple elements on a page then these are the methods that you will use so find elements by name and the only difference if you see here is basically this is element and this is elements right so it says find elements by name so that's the only difference between find element and find elements so as the name suggests elements is multiple elements will be returned if you use this particular method and by that particular name or xpath or link text so say for example i want to use this by tag name so i want to count all the anchor tags on a particular page then i can use the tag that will return me or this particular method will return me all the tags that have that particular matching tag name right and then we have this find elements as well that we can use with the by class so we'll let's understand how we can find the list of web elements on the page so it is absolutely simple same concept what i'll do is i'll copy the same code and let me create a new file and i'll name it as demo find elements okay let me paste everything here so now here if you see we have been launching the website yatra.com and then we have also configured chrome driver manager so if you haven't watched the previous tutorial go go ahead and watch those first before you jump into this particular tutorial because everything is interconnected if you miss the previous ones you won't be able to understand this perfectly in the same way okay so i'm opening the website yatra.com then i am finding the element by the partial link text so this was elements now say for example uh, this was element so finding one element now say for example i want to find the list of elements okay so what i can do is i can use the method find and then instead of element i will use elements right so you see here and let me use the tag name okay so now say for example i want to get the list of all the web elements that have the tag a so let me open this particular website and say this for example let me inspect this yatra for business and this is tag a right if you see here this is anchor tag and if we open selector sub right so selector sub if you can't see here you just basically if your window is something like this you just click on this arrow here and then you will find the selector sub so as at the moment it's already open but you will find it here okay and then let me move it a little bit here okay Okay. So now you can see here you have the link text and you have the tag name. So tag name is A. Okay. So if I want to find the tags that are there on this page with this tag name A, what I'll do is I'll simply in the quotes, I'll provide the tag name. Okay. And then let's see how many tags are there. So say for example, I print this on the console, right? So basically what this will do is this will return a list of web elements, right? So we have to basically, this will return a list. So we can't, if we'll print it, it will print the whole list there, okay? So we'll store it in the list. So we'll say, say for example, list A, okay? And then let's find or let's print the length of this particular list. So we'll say print, and then there is a function length and we'll provide list okay so we'll say list a in there and it should print the length of that particular list okay so let me run this and see how many anchor tags are there on that page on yatra.com so it's running it's opening the browser it will count all the links or not basically links the anchor tags will wait for four seconds and then it will close okay so you can see it has printed 324 anchor tags that's the number of the list that is basically returned by this particular find elements by tag name okay so this is one of the relevance basically to find multiple elements on the page now say for example i want to see how many 
elements are there on the page with the tag name input so i'll change the tag name to input and run it and it will return me the results accordingly now what is the basic significance while it runs what is the basic significance of this it's basically say for example you want to find the broken links on the page we can use this concept to find the broken links okay so here you can see there are 16 input tags present on the page that has been printed so now say for example i want to print all the text that is associated to the links okay so let me change it to a again and i want to get the text so i want to print the length and then i want to get the text associated to those links so say for example this particular website so i want to get this is the link right this is basic the anchor tag which is the starts with a and then there is a there is a text associated with it right so yatra for business text is there and i want to print this text for each of these anchor tags if there is any text i want to print that so what i'll do is i'll use simple for loop i'll say for i and then in because this is a list so i can say for i in the list okay and i want to say print the text so i will say i dot text all right so if i run this now so what this loop will do is it will iterate through this particular list and as far as there are items in this list it will print the text for that particular anchor item okay so if i run this now it has opened the browser it will count all the anchor tags and then print everything there on the console and should close after four seconds okay let's see yeah so it has closed so it has finished process finished with exit code zero and if you scroll up let me move it a little bit further you will see the text has been printed on the console right so partner yatra for business and then if you scroll further you will see all the text that are associated with the anchor tags have been printed right so here you can see find out more and then my account support yatra for business from the top so if you'll see here that's the yatra for business then we have this offers as well so offers should have been printed as well so offers flights hotels etc and if you scroll down you'll see that why you should visit dubai at least once in your lifetime so if you see it should be there on the page somewhere right so it should be it should be somewhere here okay so if we say if we move further so this is the link text that has been printed right so that's how you will basically get all the text that is associated with these tags on the page and the relevance of finding the multiple elements on the page so the relevance is basically if you want to verify the existence of the links and then whether those links are actually working or not they are actually not the broken links then you can utilize this technique and i'll create a separate video how you can find the broken links on a page using the similar concept now this is just using the method find elements by tag name if you see here right so this is the these are the specific methods that you can use but then you can also use the by class okay so you can use you can import this by class okay and then instead of spe using specific methods what i can do is i can simply say here i will say driver dot find elements and instead of element elements by so i'll say i'll use by class here so i'll say by dot and then i can use id name tag name whatever right so tag name and then comma separated and within the comma separated i can provide the tag that i'm looking for so it will return the exact same results as it has returned me the previous time so if i run this now it will open the browser it will get me the text print on the console it is printing as you can see and then wait for the four seconds and close the browser so it has closed the browser and you can see that it has printed all these texts on the console right so this is just a brief introduction about how to find the multiple web elements that are present on the page with a common property so now in this case i am providing the common property as the anchor with the name a or if i want to say find me all the web elements on the page which have this particular name or this particular um, class name right so you can basically utilize these methods so you can utilize find elements and then by class so you can either specify link text partial link text name tag name all these locators can be utilized these attributes can be utilized to find multiple web elements and any 
web element which is matching these particular attributes will be returned so list of those web elements will be returned okay so find element is to find a specific element and do the operation on it find elements is to find the list of web elements on the page and do specific operations on those particular web elements you can iterate you can get the values you can do a lot more uh you know verification and validation on the those particular returned elements that are returned in the form of lists so that's all for this tutorial on how to find multiple elements in selenium web driver in any web page i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching